Now, we are here to have afternoon high tea because it was a ritual that the royals used to have. It would tide them over until dinner at 8 p.m. Yes, yeah, so the Victoria Rooms, Jill Jones Evans is with us this morning to teach us how to do the tea like the Queen. Hello, Jill. Sonia Melissa Kruger, David Joseph Campbell. Hello, nice to meet you. Uh, now, where did this high tea ritual begin? It began uh, in England, of course. It was Anna Maria Stanhope, who was the seventh Duchess of Bedford, uh, complained of a sinking feeling in the afternoon. In those days, lunch was at 12, dinner was at 8, long time in between. Mm -hmm. uh, so she started having cakes and whatnot in her parlour. See, I have that drinking feeling in the afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> um, it, David gets to the cocktail hour and that right, happens. Yes, one o'clock. But, but this kind of thing that we've got here, mm. is that the sort of food that they would have? Would they have like cucumber sandwiches? Yes, we do have cucumber sandwiches there, uh, tea, smoked chicken sandwiches, a selection of lovely little tea cakes and of course scones. And what about scones. dress code? Because you've got us all in gloves. Mm. So what's the dress code? Ah, uh, look, you can wear gloves. A little uh, fascinator might be nice uh, for the ladies. But something proper, a little bit flirty. But boys definitely in shirts, tie no tie. A, a nice jacket. Yeah, tie nice jacket. Is, is good. Yes. And, and do you have to wait for a signal from the hostess before you yes, bog you do. in? Yes. Oh, good, she's starving yes. because we're starving. Yes, which, which look, it's very simple. It's right. just placing a napkin on your lap, okay. and that signals. Oh. I always the forget beginning. that, and then I notice people looking at me because I'm chowing down <laughs> and I have no napkin on my down lap. Your front. You have All a bit, right. don't you? Now, once we start, what are the rules for high tea? with the Queen? Now, uh, first of all, we would uh, talk about tea, and um, when you're sipping tea, contrary to popular belief, you... Oh, may I, Sonia? Oh, thank you. It's uh, pinkies under, so, not extended. Does David do... Does he pour this whilst it's on my lap? Because that looks kind of dangerous uh, to me. Probably, or should that be down probably there? Probably best on the table. All right. so, oh! <laughs> why did you move it? <laughs> I could have guessed that she was going to move it, but why did she? Because it's supposed not to, to be worry, down not here. to worry. Here's, here's one I put. Here's one I made earlier. Whoops, sorry. Moving on. Mm. It's going very well so far. <laughs> so if <laughs> do you think the queen would have us around, Jill? No, I think she would say, "Off with your head." <laughs> what, what would happen if if one dro dropped a royal scone or? <laughs> I would be. I would be quite. Tea? I'd be quite shaken having. Well, I think you'd you know have to do your best to hide it really. Right. Kick it under the table. And, and the little finger, the pinky, the pinky when you're sipping the tea, David. Could you demonstrate the pinky? Oh. <laughs> It, it should be oh. technically tucked under. Does that spoon stay there or should that be down here? You could do as you want. Yeah. And, and the saucer should always be <laughs> but no close to the uh, cup. Like no, definitely no Just in case someone comes along and goes, pip, pip, <laughs> pip, pip, hold <laughs> Because then you've got problems if you don't have the saucer right under That's exactly right, yes. Can we... Good point. <laughs> Can we just talk about the, um, the etiquette of eating a scone? David, could you... Sure, Sonia. <laughs> Oh, I've got Jaunty with would the you crown like, again. Like Danny's had a drink. Plate? Thank David. you. Yep. Now, yeah. what, 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 what now, do you do? Now, <laughs> do I use you, the gloved hand? Probably take the, the gloves off. Oh, gloves oh, off. Really? Let's do that. Wouldn't that be unhygienic? Well, just... Uh, gloves off for all tea. Here we go. Now, <laughs> you... Jam and, and cream? <laughs> Thank you. Uh, <laughs> Sorry, I'm speechless. <laughs> That's not right. That happens to a lot of our guests on this show, Joe. All I do want to say is you, you should never cut the scone. You just See? break See? off little pieces and um, spread uh, jam and cream on as you go. So like that. Yes, yes. <laughs> not something like that, yes, yes. Mm. Jill, thank you. The Victoria Room mm. has high teas. There's a cucumber on top of my mouth. <laughs> You're it very, is a you're very welcome. It's a beautiful thing, and we've just been having a lot of silly no, fun. We've been great fun. But the high team, you can have it at the Victoria Room. That's right. Uh, weekends uh, 12 to 5. Thank and it is so beautiful. Much. I've had friends who've gone and they've said it's absolutely oh, divine. Oh, thanks, Sonia. Thank mm. you.